the winner. Welcome to Red Barber Shop. Choco, let's get a move on. Sure. Where on earth did Wilk go and what's keeping him so long? Mr. Brown! Uh, <laughs> Wilk, you better have an explanation for this. But, sir, look who I've brought with me. Fred, it's been quite some time. Oh, <laughs> Master, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> well, I had some errands to do in Bakery Town, you see. We <laughs> met Moldy Breadberg and I brought him here. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything seems to be in order here. <laughs> well, of course, I was taught by the best. <laughs> oh, who might this be? Allow me to introduce my new pupil. This is Melon Bread. How do you do? Mm. Your new pupil? Mm. After I handed my shop over to you, I mm. decided to take some time off. Mm. Huh? <laughs> 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 you again! <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too! Hey, she's not finished with me! Oh, I couldn't ignore such raw talent, so I decided mm. to teach her. Wow, what a story! Your talent really did blow me away. Hi there, my name is Wilk. Um, I think we should be friends. Uh, hmm. Huh? <laughs> Talk about a cold melon. That's how kids are these days. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a bit peckish after the trip. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> Don't worry, Master. We'll make you a feast fit for a king. <laughs> I'll grill up some meat. And I'll fix us something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a pleasure to see you and your shop so successful. <laughs> it's all thanks to your teachings. By the by, I was quite impressed with your assistant. Why, he turned those super molds into supermodels. Who oh, will? Cross knows I've tried my hardest to teach that milk toast. Hmm. In that case, why don't we let Melon Bread and Wilk have a hair battle? Huh? <gasps> Melon Bread has journeyed from town to town, training to be the best barber. And I suspect this battle will teach them both something. Well, <laughs> still, with no time to uh, prepare. I'd love to. Uh, I mean, uh, I have a ton to learn from Melon Bread. Uh, uh, Wilk! Well, <laughs> we'll meet you tomorrow in the empty parking lot. Until tomorrow, then. Have a nice evening. See you tomorrow. Oh. Mr. Brad, are you all right? By the way, isn't uh. Ellen Brad something? Oh, oh. I got to see her uh. in action, and she is a genius. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. All right. Shall we let the battle commence? Yes, huh? I think I'm ready. Hmm. Yes. For the first round, you will carve the coconut. Oh. A coconut? Mmm. A true barber can turn solid rock into living art with their very hands. The mm. first to finish their art carving into the coconut wins the round. Ready, set, begin! How am I supposed to carve through this hard shell? Hmm. Huh. I'll use this instead of scissors. Yeah, let's do this! Who uses scissors on a coconut? At least I'm using my melon. Huh. Hmm. Oh, she drilled a detailed carving into a coconut in a matter of minutes. You've done very well. I'm honored, sir. <laughs> For gluten's sake! <laughs> oh, Wilk! Carving a coconut with a pair of scissors? Can't you do anything right? <laughs> and the winner is... Melon Bread, of course. Wilk, my boy, why did you use the scissors? Well, of course I knew it would be easier to use the drill. But when I pictured the coconut as a customer's head, I couldn't bring myself to carve it with a drill. Oh, so that's why. All right, enough dilly-dallying. For the second round, chocolate syrup hunt! The first to bring back a warm, fresh batch of chocolate syrup will be declared the winner! What? Huh? But I'm a stranger to this neighborhood. I don't know where to begin to find uh, a... Hmm? I think I know huh? a place. Let's go huh? together! Oh, uh... Here it is, the best huh? chocolate syrup factory in Bakery huh? Town. Oh, hmm. Good afternoon huh? to you, sir. Hi there, <laughs> Wilk. Sir, hmm? might we get a freshly made, piping hot batch of chocolate syrup? Oh, what sticky timing. You see, it's lunchtime now and everyone's on their break. 
Just hold on for a little bit. I'll be back soon. Sure. Have a nice lunch. Bear chocolate syrup is made from 100% pure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, melon bread, what are you doing? There's no time to waste. Wait, I'm going to grab a batch safe. myself. <laughs> <sighs> Let's do this. I've got it! Wilk? Did you fall in? Trying to save me? I'm so sorry! Huh? Wilk? I'm okay. I'm a milk carton so I can float. Now you go ahead. I'll catch up soon! Huh? Hmm... Uh, 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 looks like I made it! Uh, melon bread! I can't believe that you waited for me! No one's gonna say that I cheated my way to the top! Uh, you can play it cool, but I can tell you've got a warm mm -hmm. heart! What? Hey, you can stand there and keep babbling, but I'm out of here! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> Hey, Master Bread, we're back! Huh? At the same time? And what took you so long? <laughs> Funny story. I was clumsy and fell into the syrup barrel. Oh, why am I not surprised? In that case, huh? we'll have to call this round a draw. A draw? Does that mean I won? No. The last ah. round will determine who wins. The ultimate feat. The 100-tier ah. fruit ah. tower. 100-tier fruit tower? Impossible. Oh. The first to make a tower with 100 ah. tiers wins the match. Let the final match begin. In order to build a tower that tall, I will start with the largest fruit at the base. Huh. Hmm. Well, watermelons, it's you and me. Cantaloupes above them. And then the pineapples. Melon bread seems to have a great hmm. stacking tactic. Hmm, indeed. Uh, looks like I'm going to take this home. Almost. Huh? Huh? Oh, no. Huh? Oh. Oh. My head. What in the gluten was he thinking? Oh, you imbecile. Hmm? You had no tactics. No wonder it <laughs> collapsed. Completed the task. I can't believe she completed it so quickly. Astonishing. A job well done. Wilk, mm -hmm. you can come down. The match is over. Uh, already? Let's have a look at Wilk's tower, shall uh. we? What am I even looking at? It has no tears. It has no shape. Did you have any plan at all? Hmm. I hereby declare the winner is Melon Bread. <laughs> Nitwit! You didn't even win a single round! I'm sorry I let you down, sir. Tomorrow we're going to start back at square one! Sir, I'll try my very best, sir! Bread, mm. you keep taking good care of the barbershop. I will, sir. Hey, Melon Bread, congratulations on winning! <laughs> you were a worthy opponent. I'm going to work so hard so I can challenge you again next time. Does that sound like a deal? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That sounds like a good deal to me. All right, now, we'd better go or else we'll miss our train. Uh, have a safe journey, you two. Bye, Melon <laughs> Well, now that you've battled Wilk, how do you measure his skills? At first, I thought he was just a clumsy, inept milk carton. But then I realized what a fair, kind heart he has. Still, I'm not very sure hmm? he'll ever be a real barber. Hmm. Are you sure? Huh? Unlike you, Wilk didn't use a drill in the first round. Instead, he used scissors because he thought of that coconut as the client's head. But... but that... And then in the second round, as you know, Wilk was kind enough to help out his opponent. Uh, how did you know? <laughs> There's no way you would have chosen to return together. <laughs> For the last round, Wilk could have finished quickly by stacking the fruit as you did. But it took him longer because he was trying to come up with a meaningful design. Here, take a look. Huh? That child was making a 100-tier statue. The outcome of the match isn't what's important. It's how you respond afterwards, whether you win or lose. 
you won this battle uh. fair and square, but I'm curious to see who wins next time. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go! Ooh. Master Pen! Uh, 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 you waited for me all this time? You're the best! Um, I wasn't waiting for you, I just dozed <laughs> off. Master Pen, wait for me! Here I come! <laughs> <laughs>